Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Uh, the Sunday come out today, so get outside and do something fun. All right, uh, today's morning message is to adapt, which means sometimes you have to change. Uh, sometimes you have to change to make things work, and so you can continue to find that happiness and do what you got to do to move forward. Uh, like right now, we're all adapting. We're all learning from home, um, working with people possibly longer than we used to work with, or being around family more, or um, you know, trying to find a way to connect with friends. Sometimes you got to have those little phone calls or those little FaceTimes or Google Duos or however you see your family and friends, but you got to make it work. You got to change. You got to adapt so things are, are good and, and happy. All right. Um, Going to read a few pages from our Weird But True 2 book. And then we'll talk about uh, what's happening again for the week, just to kind of go over things and have two extra credit questions. One is from the book, and one will be one that I made up uh, to, from our assignments that are on our Google document for third grade distance learning. All right. All cats are born with blue eyes. Monkeys can go bald in old age just like humans can, like Mr. O can. Six million pounds of space dust settle on Earth every year. I wonder if uh, other planets get more or less space dust than us. A 3,000-year-old mummy can still have fingerprints. A snowflake can take up to two hours to fall from a cloud to the ground. Some of you probably know this one. Pumpkins also come in red, green, yellow, blue, tan, and white. Remember the pumpkin investigation? That was a good time. Weighing the pumpkins with and without the seeds, counting the seeds, getting all slimy. That was a fun day. Uh, and your skeleton has about 300 bones when you are born, but only 206 by the time you grow up. Okay, so first extra credit question goes with the, the bones question will be with this one, the extra credit. So what is the difference from when you are born to the time you grow up? From 300 bones to only ending up with 206. What's the difference? All right. Okay, as far as... Our math work, you're finishing the review test uh, from the workbook, sending those pictures in, and any other quick quizzes or fluency checks, we'd love it if you could get those in by the end of this week. So I'll be reminding you daily uh, this week to get those finished. Okay? Excellent day. All right. So there it is. Finish your review test and any quick quizzes and fluency checks. Um, don't forget, adapt. You might have to change to make things work, but work nonetheless. Make it happen. And then uh, you have a cooking slash measurement task. I think it says cook something or bake something. But you know what? That's not the only thing you can use with fractions, right? When you measure, when you're cutting things and you're making things project-wise, um, I know like Logan likes to build, you know, or even if you guys have Legos, you can measure those Legos too and see. You can measure to the nearest, I would say, one-fourth inch if you could. And if you really come from maybe like the eighth inch, you can have an adult work with you on that for sure. Let them uh, double-check your work. That's always smart as a student. Let your whoever you're working with double-check your work too. All right, so you can um, use fractions to cook or create. Take a picture and send it to us. The second extra credit question is this one. If you used one and a half cups of flour and two and one fourth more later, how much flour is used total? Okay, and just as far as the ruler goes, remember if you're using the traditional ruler, like one of those wooden ones, um, we usually go a uh, whole inch, one, zero, one fourth, one half, three fourths, the whole inch. And then let's go again, one and a fourth, one and a half, one and three fourths, one and two inches next whole inch okay so if you're using the ruler think about that that's a clue for adding that perhaps that half plus one fourth all right so yes it is a little bit quicker video um which is fine if you have any specific questions about the review test or any of the uh the work that we've been doing please have your uh folks wherever you live with send a message through remind or my email okay okay today's artifact from my memory box is a ticket to get into a Civil War wax museum. And if you can read real closely, it says Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Okay, Gettysburg was the site of a famous Civil War battle that took place a long, long time ago. If you want to learn about the Civil War, ask your folks. Um, there is probably a brain uh, pop on the Civil War. Um, you know all about Abraham Lincoln. He was our leader, uh, at least as far as... Uh, um, the Union went, Union armies and the United States. Um, 
during that time. So I know you know about Abraham Lincoln. You probably heard Civil War. Those are tied together. But Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, that was the site of a large, large battle that took place during the Civil War. And uh, my parents took me on a vacation there um, to see the, the, the war site. And then we also went to somewhere called Hershey, PA. And you may have gone there. It's a pretty cool spot. And if these things open back up, you should go. It's not too far. And it's probably not too expensive to, to go on a, a road trip like that. Um, but Hershey, you know you've heard of. Hershey Kisses, right? Yep. Um, so um, that is the site of the Hershey's Chocolate Factory. And what's also cool about Hershey, PA, is it has an amusement park that you can go to uh, right by the Hershey's Chocolate Factory. So it's a really cool little spot um, to hang out and uh, check out the sites. Okay. All right. Well, have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. We'll see you.